anyway in this video I'm going to show you how to implement and cool down so we have an example here we have a player character can using his fist to attack but we don't have a cooldown and the uh, player can easily abuse the attack that's no good we want a cooldown so we're gonna create a scrap we're gonna use a scrap to control the time between two feast um, two feasts so first we need a variable for the running time and uh, a maximum time which determine the gap between two feasts and then we have initialize function for initialize the time and the time between then we have a function called tick this function is going to call in every frame, frame in your main function and uh, we have a callback function called is ready so if your time is greater than zero that means we still need ticks to go until our time uh, reach zero so when our time reach zero that means we're gonna reset time and uh, return choose so I implement this uh, scrap into a player uh, scrap we're gonna first uh, including preload the uh, cooldown uh, scrap and uh, already uh, create the first cooldown uh, and initialize the cooldown variable the time between uh, feasts or attacks you can modify here then in the main function we choose to put the uh, Fist cooldown inside the uh, physical processing delta time, so the time taking in the same game time. And finally, we're gonna put the callback function inside uh, attack uh, function, where the attack function triggers in this case we have the uh, attack one and uh, first cooldown is ready so if it is ready we're gonna reset the timer and timer will keep ticking otherwise we cannot do the second attack and here is the scrap in action Now our character is no longer able to abuse this attack. Every attack is between 0.5 seconds. Hope you learned something in this video and uh, I will see you in the next one.